Okay, so I'm, I'm Ray Garrido. Uh, I am a first-generation American. My mother came from Germany. My father came from Caracas, Venezuela. And I grew up in New York City. Uh, during that time, in the 40s and 50s, uh, the, the neighborhood we were in was, was a poor neighborhood. We didn't have a lot of money. Uh, but we were the only family there that had anybody with a Hispanic person in the family. And the majority of the people there were Irish with a few um, German Jews. And what I remember is a, a lot of people ask me now because they work with immigrants who primarily speak Spanish, if I speak Spanish. And the story I tell them is that my father, grandmother, and aunt all wanted me to learn Spanish. And they could they could speak to me and I wouldn't understand it, but I did not want to learn. And they, they didn't know why, but any time I went out on the street, I was pegged as a spick. That's a term they used for Spanish people in New York, kind of uh, synonymous or, or likened to wetback for Mexicans. And so the last thing I wanted to do is be more Spanish or Hispanic, and speaking the language was definitely not something I wanted to do. So over the years, I moved to, um, to Kitsap County, Charlotte and I did in um, 1978, and we've been here ever since, involved in the community. But what I've come to see is that when people in our community learn about each other, d people from different cultures get to know each other, they form bonds that help our community get stronger. And the work that I've done with the Kitsap Immigrant Assistance Center has shown that to me too, because I've seen people come in who are afraid um, to walk on the street sometimes because of what they look like. And due to some of the work we've done with them and then a lot of the work they've done with themselves, they've started reaching out to the broader community, getting to know people who are from other countries, not, not their own. Um, and form friendships. And from those friendships, they've started to do things like starting little dance companies or even starting businesses together. And that helps our community get stronger. So, you know, the message I want to leave you with is it doesn't matter where somebody comes from, it doesn't matter what they look like or what they speak, it matters that they want to be part of our community. And if we can reach out and open our arms to them, they'll do the same to us.